Hi everyone. Welcome to our channel. Today we are going to start lesson 15. Analysis of Chichubox Pro Supports Editing Function, Episode 6. How to Reduce the Isolated Supports. As we all know, when adding supports to a model, apart from the parameter setting of the supports, sometimes it is necessary to adjust the settings for the connection structure of the supports. In Chichubox Pro, what are these connection settings? What does each of them mean, and what are their effects? Today, we will learn about it. In fact, the connection structure can be set at will, regardless of whether it is auto support or manual support. Previously, we talked about the parameter setting of the supports in the setting panel, including the top, middle, bottom and raft etc. Chichubox Pro V1.2.0, our latest update, also has plenty of parameters in the advanced parameter setting, including size adjustment, auto or manual support, and preview mode. Let's find out more. Number 1, Auto Slash Manual Support. The angle refers to the angle between the model's surface and the platform and is the maximum tilt angle that the model is allowed to add supports. Generally, the larger the angle, the more supports will be added to the model. Of course, by setting its value, we can add different types of support to the model partially or entirely. Touch tip distance is the minimum horizontal distance between the contact points of any two supports. The smaller the gap, the more contact points there will be on the model's surface. In other words, contact point spacing will directly affect the density of supports added to the model. We can set it slightly larger to ensure successful model printing and minimize the chance of damaging the surface. The middle distance is the minimum horizontal distance between any two middle supports. This parameter can help us control the spacing of the supports more precisely and improve the simplicity of supports. For example, when the distance is set to 8mm and 4mm respectively, we can clearly see the difference when we select plus platform to add supports. Under certain circumstances, it will also affect the support connection structure largely. Please note that the angle, touch tip distance and middle distance only affect the result of auto-supporting. As in the manual supports mode, we can choose the editing place at will. Number 2, Advanced. In the advanced settings, there are three categories of parameters, size setting, auto slash manual support settings, and preview mode setting. By clicking the little arrow on the left, you can check the corresponding parameter list. Today, we will talk about the first two sections, and the rest of it in the next episode. Size setting. Cross structure diameter. Refers to the diameter of the cross structure connecting two supports. Generally, we will set it to the same size as the middle trunk of the support, which makes the support structure more reasonable and graceful outline, and also reduces the consumption of resin material to some extent. Maximum small pillar length. Refers to the maximum length of the small pillar support type. The diameter of the upper and lower ends is the diameter of the small pillar. The support with both ends falling on the model is added manually or automatically. When the distance between the two ends doesn't exceed the maximum length of the small pillar, the trunk support will be displayed in a small pillar type. In contrast, the trunk support will be displayed in middle support type, with the upper end diameter value. Height of protruding part of the middle support. Refers to the height dimension of the bottom part of the support which is connected to the platform touch shape. Diameter of protruding part of the middle support refers to the diameter of the bottom part of the support which is connected to the platform touch shape. Usually, we'll set those two parameters in the visualization window directly. Automatic slash manual support setting. Enable cross structure. This option provides the function to enable or disable the cross structure between the trunk supports. Activate it by checking the box. And when we add supports, Chichubox will automatically generate the cross structure within the setting parameters. Cross starting height. Refers to the minimum starting height for generating cross structure supports. Only if the distance of the top contact points of the supports relative to the platform is greater than this value, will the cross structure be formed between the adjacent supports.
The minimum spacing of cross structures, z-axis, refers to the minimum distance between two adjacent cross structures on the same support in the z-axis direction. Obviously, the smaller the value, the more cross structures will be generated at a certain height. For some higher supports, we should set a smaller spacing value in order to improve the print stability of the support. The maximum spacing of cross structures, X and Y axis, refers to the maximum distance that adjacent supports are allowed to generate cross structures automatically in X and Y horizontal direction. For those spaced far apart supports, we can adjust the maximum spacing value to allow adjacent supports to generate cross structures to avoid the deformation and reduce the number of isolated supports. Please note that setting a certain maximum distance value doesn't mean that the supports will generate cross structure. Another factor that affects the cross structure generation is the middle support spacing parameter we mentioned before. If the middle distance value is larger than the maximum spacing value of the cross structure, then the cross structure cannot be generated between adjacent supports in the auto supporting mode. In Chichibox Pro V1.2.0, the auto supporting function enhancement can generate auxiliary supports when auto supporting, which can reduce isolated supports as well. However, for manual supports editing, this function doesn't work, so we still need to pay attention to setting the spacing of the cross structure. Okay. That's all for today. I hope you all enjoyed the video and learned something useful. Shichubox Pro runs on Mac and PC, and we are still updating new functions. Waiting for our next section of the tutorial. Thank you very much. See you next time.